Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resolve if the application has failed to start because its side-by-side -side configuration is incorrect. So if you're coming across this along with the please see the application event log or use the command line sxttrace.exe tool for more details. So if you're coming across this issue in various games, apps, or even Microsoft Office, there should be a hopefully a pretty straightforward process to going about resolving it. And that's what we're going to do in today's tutorial. So we're going to start off by opening up the search menu. Search for regedit, R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best result should come back a registry editor. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive the user account control prompt, go ahead and select yes. And now before you proceed in the registry, I would highly suggest you create a backup of it. So if anything were to go wrong, you could easily restore it back. So in order to create the backup, all you have to do is select file and then export. File name, I recommend naming it the date in which you're making the backup. And export range, keep that at all, and then save it to a convenient location on your computer. And if you ever need to import it back in, all you'd have to do is select file and then import and navigate to the file location. So again, pretty straightforward. And we're ready to begin. So we're going to start by double clicking on the HK local machine folder. Do the same thing now for the software folder. Same thing for Microsoft. And now you want to go down to Windows and you want to double click on that one as well. And now you want to locate current version. Should be near the top. And now double click on that. And then finally you want to locate something that says side by side. right here and double click on it and now you want to locate the winners folder so go ahead and double click on that and now you want to locate something that says times 86 and then it has policy after it so let's go down to the times 86 section all the top stuff's AMD here so we're just going to go down to times 86 so that's the first thing you want to head to and then it should say underscore policy. So again, all this is alphabetical here. So I'm just scrolling down. So you see times 86 policy and then it'll have a dot 9.0, double click on that. And there should be a 9.0 folder in here, so just go ahead and left click on that. If you need to take note of our file path, it's up at the top of the screen here. Each backslash is a different subfolder we've gone under to get to this point.
and you want to double click on it, this should be a 9.0 folder. Go ahead and left click on that. You need to take note of our file path that's up at the top of the screen here. Each backslash is a different subfolder we've gone under to get to this point. So this number here should be the number that is the highest of the two. So if one of these numbers, like the 9635, that should be the one up here, so 9635. If it said 6161 in this data field, you'd have to go click on the default value, and you would delete the value in here, and you replace it with the highest value one. So again, this will be dependent on your situation, so your number will be different than mine. But you would just go ahead and just copy the highest number in here, and then paste it into the value data. Again, you do that for the default reg string value up at the top. And once you're done with that, close out of here. And you can close out of the registry as well. And you want to go ahead and restart your computer. So hopefully I was able to resolve your problem, guys. If not, something else we can try here as well would be to go onto the internet. Doesn't matter which web browser, but we're gonna head over to Google. And you wanna search for Visual C++ Redistributable. We're gonna go ahead and select download Visual C++ Redistributable for Visual Studio 2015. Go ahead and left click on that. And then you wanna select the orange download button here. Just go ahead and select that. Select the time 64 download and select next. Again, assuming you're on a 64-bit Windows 11, which everybody should be. If you're on an earlier version of Windows and you're following this tutorial, you might select the times 86 download for 32-bit operating systems. So go ahead and open up this file. Agree to the license terms and conditions and select install. So it failed because I already have installed on my machine, but in your case, just go ahead and let it install. And then hopefully your issue should have been resolved. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.